Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag's SQL Server DB tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to enable auditing in SQL Server at Demonstrate. So this is the part one. In part two, I'll go through the add a new database on existing audit specification in SQL Server. So in this part, we'll just uh, concentrate on enabling auditing and in SQL Server and we'll check how the data is changes and who changes the data into the database. So let me open the tutorial link. I need to open the SQL Server. logged in with the sql server and uh, let me check this is not opening okay so this is the twitter link here we will just go through the enable auditing in sql server and demonstrate it is it with a step by step example we will create a database table and perform cut operation and log user activity uh, where how to do it so first thing is create a test database so I'm just creating a database. So that database name is audit database demo. So this is my SQL server and go to your new query. Just run this command. So side by side, I am going to do this. So run this, execute this command. So database is created successfully. Now just select your database use database database name use database name and go so automatically it will change to master to audit uh, demo db next i am going to create a simple uh, sample table that is the employee table there is a employee id that is the identity one by one it auto increment one by one and name is where n barker 50 position n barker 50 and salary is decimal in decimal so i'm just going to run this command so executed successfully now let me check with the databases go to your audit database and tables you will you will able to find the employees table okay next enable the server audit so server level auditing is required to capture database specific event create a server audit and specify the file location to save the log so i need i need the file location that is a c drive and audit logs i have created i have to create the audit log folder this is a c drive and here i'll just create the right click and new database on folder and i'm creating the audit log folder so this folder is created so that is a path is C and audit log. And next, enable the server audit. So uh, alter server audit and SQL audit. So let me run this command. And this command I'll run with the master. Okay, I'll just run with the particular database. So audit database so cannot create the database from whom must be performed in the master. Okay. So master why cannot alter the audit because it does not exist and you have to give the permission. Okay, before that, I have to create this one. Okay. So, uh, here I'll create the server audit. Server audit, this is a name and file path I'm giving this, and max size I'm giving the 10 MB. After the 10 MB, new file will be created. <laughs> so, completed successfully with the master, run with the master. So, completed successfully. Next command, I'm going to alter this one with a status on 
so alter server audit uh, server uh, audit server audit with the state on so just click on execute command completed successfully so this is also completed next command is that so now we are moving to step 3 so create a database audit specification so db audit spec i am just going to create this database so this will run with the my particular database so i am going to select the audit uh, demo db and there i am creating the specific and db audit spec and data uh, delete on database audit demo by okay. so click on execute so completed successfully next enable the database audit specification so i just copy this one and run this command so alter database data audit specification and db spec with the state on go so execute this one completed successfully now perform the cut operation before cut operation just i am going through the event log means audit logs using t sql new query Here I am running this one. So we don't have data now. We have a event log. One line event log is there. Now I am going through the cut operation. Here I will run the cut operation. So there is a cut operation is there. Down somewhere. Yeah. So here, use audit db, uh, demo db. I am going to insert some data. Insert it. One row affected and completed time is this. Now I am going to check with the audit log. So you can able to see our object name is employee. So go to go down. Here employee insert insert two commands are there so inserted is done and the login user is sa and what what value is inserted from the database you can able to see chirag dba 70000 and uh, sanju teacher and uh, the salary so data is inserted into database so database data is logged into the audit log and here you can able to check just refresh the file you can be able to find the this size is increasing so ab about 2.45 mb let me do the next operation now i'm doing for the update so update is done again i'm going to t sql script and run this one and go down go to the last and you can able to see there is a update update is there with the sanju and there is update command is there up action update so update there is a set salary is of this much and run by user sa okay and next i'm going to the uh, next command there is select if i'm doing the select also it will be also recorded into the database and see the select operation is also recorded and now last each cut operation for the delete so delete i am doing doing this so one row is deleted now go to last here you can able to see the employee is deleted by sa so all the all the audit log is all recorded now what i'll do i'll just check, change the user I'll just log in with the another user. I'm going to create one user. Let me check with the user is available. Yeah, Chirag user is available. So I'm going to the Chirag properties. I'm adding, giving the permission to DB owner to this particular database. So user mapping, audit DB and head DB ownership and just run this one. Now what I'll do, I just log in with the Chirag. So I'm just minimizing this, a new connection I'm going to do. So Chirag. 
I'm logged in with the Chirag. You can able to see here. Chirag. Now uh, go to the audit log. New query. And from here, I'm going to add again Sanju teacher. So just execute this one. Executed successfully. Now I am coming to the audit log uh, as, as, uh, T SQL script and just execute this one. Go to the last. You can able to see with the employee. employee so insert into salary sanju here you can able to check the data is inserted and who is the server principal that is chirag so you can able to know which data which user is inserted the data and which user is uh, manipulated the data by server uh, principal and last is so we have done this one last query audit log using the tsql tsql we have seen this one view log you can go to the security audit and in S, uh, sql server management studio and you can view the log also disable or uh, drop the auditing log so you can disable or drop the auditing log using this one this command alter database audit uh, i'm not going to disable this one for now later on i'll do it So in this video, we have learned how to enable auditing in SQL Server and demonstrate in part 1 and part 2 will go through the add a new database to existing audit specification in SQL Server and there is a step by step process is given and uh, let me know if any uh, you would like to further assistant for any doubts and query please write on the YouTube video comment section not follow the process on in the video subscribe and like for the more videos don't fall don't forget to follow like share and comment hope this will help thank you for watching